Good afternoon. Uh, hopefully we've got a growing number of people uh, attending this session. This is uh, your opportunity to provide some input on Bruce County's strategic plan, corporate strategic plan that's been in the works for a few months now. Uh, and uh, we're looking forward to having a, a highly interactive session. Hopefully you will uh, see the screen um, and us and Matt and I are, are talking and we'll introduce ourselves in just a second. Uh, we have a, a uh, jam-packed schedule today. Uh, we're, we're looking for your input and how you provide input is to uh, use, use the, the code that's at the top of this screen and we'll have further instructions in just a moment. So who's here today? My name's Chris Carter. I'm with Strategy Corp. Uh, I'm a management consultant that's been uh, part of the team helping Bruce County develop uh, uh, the, the strategic plan. Uh, I uh, actually live in Toronto, but I'm here in beautiful Southampton, sunny Southampton today. I also uh, summer in South, uh, just north of Southampton in South Savile, actually on Soggy Nation. With me today in person is, is Matt Mead. Matt, over to you. Yeah, yeah. Good mo afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Matt Mead. I'm the Corporate Strategic Initiative Specialist with the County of Bruce. And um, to everybody that's joining us, welcome and thanks very much for uh, participating today. Also online but silent is Tara Heth. She is going to be monitoring our questions and we're about to tell you about how you can participate today. But uh, you'll, she will be monitoring the questions that come in and then We'll be at a couple of different points looking, looking to be able to, to uh, looking at those questions. Now, our, our, our purpose today is to report on the work done to date. We're going to go for the full hour. We're going to hopefully answer your questions. We're also going to listen to you uh, th through the various questions that we're asking in this session today. And we're also going to let you know. So here's how to participate. Um, on your smartphone, or if you want to open up another window, if you happen to be uh, on, your, on your computer, uh, go to www.menti.com and use the code 63101700, and you will come to a website uh, where you will see this, uh, uh, this slide also on your smartphone or in your internet browser. You're going to provide your input by answering the questions that we'll be posing. And you can also submit questions by clicking on the, the question mark here at the bottom right and enter your question and then we'll see them again at a couple of points in this, in this session. We will, we will stop. So hopefully that's clear and hopefully our technology is working. There is one thing we need to let you know is that given this is a broadcast on YouTube, we, uh, after we talk, it takes about 10, maybe 15 seconds for it to actually show up on YouTube. So when we ask you a question, there will be a, probably about a 10 to 15 second delay before we start seeing some input. And so that's just something we, we need to remind ourselves about so that we don't get impatient and say, where is everybody? Anyways, so, and here's another way to join the conversation. If you've got uh, your smartphone, you can scan the QR code or do the, do the go into the website. Those instructions will remain on uh, your, your display the whole time. So here we are. Here we are at the first, the first time we're looking for some input. And this is a bit of a technology test uh, where we want to get things started. So we want to, we're going to build a word cloud here. And we would like you to answer the question, where do you live? Just enter a word. And I'll enter mine uh, right now on my, my screen. There's w Walkerton. I, I live in Toronto, so I'm going to put Toronto. But I also live in Sable Beach. But I'm going to just submit that. And hopefully that will show up. That's not a bad lag. Uh, that doesn't, doesn't. So we've got Walkerton, we've got Toronto. Now we've got Georgian Bluffs. Uh, fantastic. We've got uh, another person from Port Elgin. Who else is here? We'll take, you know, maybe another 15 to 30 seconds just to get people comfortable with technology. We at least have a few people who are, who, who are.
So I'd like to, to, to move on. Ripley, uh, great, great town. And Point Clark, great. So we're gonna move on, just we wanna get to the heart of the matter. This was just a bit of a test. So we're gonna move on now. Um, our, our journey so far, so we've been, been working with, with Bruce County Strategy Corp uh, since, since June of last year when we kicked off the project. Uh, we've uh, run a series of interviews and, and, and engagement with uh, the, the municipalities that make up Bruce County, as well as all the CAOs, as well as all the, de the department heads, if you will, as well as some managers from Bruce County itself. And we did that in the summer into September. Um, later in the fall, we did some staff engagement by doing some a, a survey and, and, and so forth. And then, and then we've also, during that time, we've been been uh, liaising with the council members for, for, for Bruce County at, at various points and, and run, running some interviews. The, probably the big pivotal moment was on January the 27th when the senior management team at Bruce County uh, met for an all-day workshop. Um, and, and from that, you're going to see some of those results today and provide some feedback on that. Um, we did an environmental scan analysis, which is a fancy consulting term for understanding what are the strengths of the organization, what are the uh, weaknesses of the organization, uh, what are opportunities, and, and, and what, are, what are some uh, aspirations that they're, they're looking for uh, in, in the future, as well as what are some of our constraints that we're operating in? Because if we're thinking about it, what is, what is a strategic plan? A strategic plan is, is, is nothing more than a, a, a statement of what we are going to achieve and what we're going to focus on over the next four years. Um, and that, that's our job as consultants, is to help uh, all of the, the stakeholders of Bruce County um, inform uh, the senior stakeholder, the senior management team, to, to come to some choices about that. That's the other thing a strategic plan is. It's all about choices. Uh, we've also done some public consultation. We did a, a, a survey. Uh, 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 I, I can't remember exactly the time frame we were in, but, but we, did, we did do the survey, and we're presenting some of those, those results today. We're now in the final stages of this, where we're presenting back to the public uh, some, some of the results, or some highlights of the results, and, and getting your feedback on it. I see we have at least one question in the queue, so we'll get to that uh, after, after a few moments. So here, who have we consulted with? Well, we've consulted, as I said, from the work plan, the, the public, through a resident survey. We've conducted a whole bunch of, of internal and external stakeholder interviews and, and, and small group workshops. Um, as well as uh, the January 27th uh, big workshop with the senior management team held in, in, in Walkerton, um, uh, as well as a number of interactions where we, we worked with the senior management team to, to get their perspectives. And, and they, they had you know, a lot of input on how this uh, process was, was conducted. Because after all, it's Bruce County strategic plan, it's not the consultant strategic plan. So we want to make sure we, we handle that. Okay. Um, what did we hear from residents? We're gonna hit some highlights of that. What we heard from, from residents, first we wanna know who, who responded. So here, here's some demographics that, that tell you about who responded. We had 117 people uh, <coughs> respond, which is obviously not <laughs> the biggest sample size, but it's pretty indicative based on, on what we see the demographics are telling us. You know, 43% of people from 44 to 45 to 64 years old that's my demographic, so that, that makes some sense to me. Uh, how long have they, people been living here? And, and that's in, I find this one particularly interesting. Not, not quite 70% of, of the people who responded to this survey have been living here for more than 10 years, but there is a sizable you know, group of people who are newcomers and relative newcomers. And lastly, where, where do you live? Well, Sogging Shores, not surprisingly, you know, it take, makes, up, makes up the majority of both Port Elgin and Southampton, but there's a good distribution from across the entire county, and we were very pleased to see that. We asked three questions, primary questions, uh, in, in this survey, and we, we left them really open deliberately because we wanted to think about, let's think about the future. Um, uh, but first we start from the present. What are the best things about Bruce County? And, and we had a variety, a wide variety of, of responses to this. But, but we, 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 when you looked at thematically, you know, what, what were people saying and trying to summarize it? It's all about natural beauty, you know, the diversity that we have here in geography and, and the opportunities that provides for both people who live here and, and obviously the visitors. And, 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 and it attracts newcomers as well. We're, we're a friendly community. We're a close-knit set of communities. 
And, and a number of people commented on a small town feel. And, and, and we want, they, that's certainly something they want to be retained going, going forward. Uh, the, the, our communities have a unique character and, and, and set of characters, uh, you know, inland to the shore, south you know, to, to, to north. A wide variety uh, of, of communities offering different, different, opportunity, different things to different people and di different living situations. But also a forward-thinking population with a real sense of community pride. So these are the things that people thought about. Then, then we, we asked them to look even further out, um, 10 to 15 years, and we settled on 2035 as the, as the date to, to, to think about. So what, what, what would Bruce County look like? So I imagine Bruce County to be, they, uh, they filled in the, the rest of the sentence. And here we've summarized uh, what, what we saw the, uh, the, in, the, in the responses. It was a, a thriving and diverse community uh, mm -hmm. where agriculture is absolutely remains a major industry um, that, that is a key focus for this, this county. And the environment and wildlife are, 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 are protected. That's what they want you know, in, 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 the, in the future. But we're also a leader in energy and specifically in green energy, focusing on affordability for housing, high quality schools and, and, and recreational facilities of, 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 of different types. That we want well-planned and connected communities. They imagined that, offering a balance of, of work, you know, work life balance and, and a, also a balance rural uh, li lifestyle. They imagined a welcoming and inclusive place. And also, they wanted, and I, kn I know this would make the uh, Chief Administrative Officer of Bruce County very happy, you know, financially stable uh, Bruce, Bruce County, you know, uh, offering a range of services and, and you know, including, you know, health care. These are important services for the community. Uh, industry and commerce that is community-based, not just having to commute somewhere else. Uh, as well as many recreational opportunities. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There was a lot more detail here that, that uh, uh, what was provided. But then we turn to, well, if what's great and what we're thinking about in the future, there's probably some areas that we should be looking at to improve. Affordable housing was number one with a bullet, co uh, covered by many, <coughs> many people. Understanding transportation. And in this case, we said better trans uh, public transportation, but it's, transport it's about getting around. And public transportation is one major answer to that. Uh, and that, that, that's a major challenge to, to, to Bruce, Bruce County. Focusing on environmental sustainability, focusing on health care, uh, which is a, a, a very you know, significant priority. Focusing <coughs> on you know, planning for the longer term, uh, working within the vision rather than just uh, in, the sh in the short term, or the, let's say the, the election cycle. We need uh, more infrastructure for a greater range of age groups, from the young to the, to the older. Uh, more recreational amenities, as well as, and this is, an this is both a positive thing for Bruce County, you have a lower cost of living here on most, <coughs> most aspects, but I, I know from personal experience, food is more expensive here, in, uh, depending on what you're buying. So they're, they're compared to Toronto, you know, uh, so, but, but overall, it's a lower cost of living, and that's what they would want to continue to work on. So that fa fair enough. So finally, we get back to a point where you'll be able to answer the question. So on, uh, back on your, 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 your smartphone, we're asking you two slider questions, uh, and you'll see the results as, as they come in. We, we want you to rate your level of agreement with these two statements, and you just have to use the blue <coughs> slider for the first question and the yellow slide, a yellow dot for the second question. To what extent do you agree with Bruce County has a bright future and is a great place to live, work, play, and thrive? And to what extent does Bruce County provide high quality <coughs> and accessible services? So a one is good. A five, not so good. And then any, in all parts between. So I believe we've only had one person actually rate at this point, and I'm hoping we can get other people to, to weigh in. And you'll see as it comes in, now the averaging starts to show up, and it also shows that sometimes we don't all agree. And this is a great example of, of, of providing feedback to the community to itself, that there are, 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 are people in the community who think, this is, we do have a bright future, but there's also some people who think, no, there's some areas that could be improved, and we need to listen to that. Uh, Bruce County provides high quality and accessible services. So we're on, on average, um, the, you know, we're, 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 we're doing better than, than neutral, uh, but, but you know, that, I think that probably says we've got some room, room to improve. 
so far, I think we've got nine responses. It would be nice to get a, a, a couple more before we move on. Um, but this, this, I really love the, 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 the first question where clearly there are some people who, who, who and you're going to get your chance to provide more, you know, you'll, you'll, why this is so on the next slide. So I'm going to give 15 more seconds and then we will move on. So start thinking about what you might write in as a response uh, about why is Bruce County a great place to live, live in or is why is Bruce County not? Uh, and, and also around, around the services they provide. Okay, I'm going to give a five-second count, and then I'm going to move on. Eleven people have responded. <coughs> I mean, that's not a huge sample, but it's an important sample. All right, I'm going to move on. So now we're going to hear from you. So what makes Bruce County a great place to live, work, you know, play, and thrive, or not? <laughs> you know, and how do we keep it that way? So you know, over the next, next couple of minutes, you'll have an opportunity, and you're going to see what other people are saying. Without attribution, we won't know your IP address, um, and we won't know who's saying it, but we do know, uh, we hope, hopefully we'll get to see a range of views. And what I would really like to dig into is for those folks who rated maybe Bruce County could be better uh, in the future in particular, I'd really like to hear from you. So that, I know that takes a couple of minutes to... to, to uh, Construct, you know, and type on your smartphone. Uh, for those who are quick swipers, you know, that's great. Um, and so here, here we've got our, our, our first answer. You know, this, we need, what makes Bruce County a great place to, to live in and to work in is that, that we celebrate culture. Or maybe we need to celebrate culture more. Um, that, that, that could be the, what that, what that uh, response is saying. So hopefully I'm gonna, we're going to hear from some others. And, and this, is, this, again, is your, your opportunity to provide you know, direct feedback to Matt and, and the senior management team at, at Bruce County around what, what can we do to make Bruce, continue to have Bruce County be a great place or to make it a better place. And, and how do we keep it that way? Hopefully there's some more answers coming. You need to play the Jeopardy music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now we have a, so this gives an example of how you can actually provide, you know, a pretty detailed answer. It doesn't have to be always just a headline here. You know, we're, uh, we need to protect our forest green space and agricultural land. And maybe that's what the, the issue is about, about you know, look, looking forward into, into the future. Maybe there's, there's definitely some creative tension there between uh, the need for, for, for growth and, and to be able to sustain growth but also protect the environment. And I think that's at the, at the hub of, of, of some of the conversations we had with the, the, the uh, senior management team. Look, here we go. Uh, we need to find that balance. Um, what makes Bruce County great is small towns, open spaces, public access. What makes Bruce County great is employment opportunities, and we need to continue to provide those. Outdoor recreation. You know, play to and expand on these strengths. That's, that's a great, great point. Um, I'm just going to highlight this one, Lake Huron. There we go. I'm going to show all the answers again. These will start scrolling a, a, again a bit more. Beautiful area, great natural resources. Communities are very engaged in making a difference. Absolutely, that's certainly what I, I experience. And we need to continue to connect residents to the resources they need for a, a high quality of life. Um, we need to protect large areas of wetland and forest. And here we are again, somebody else is chiming in on an unemployment opportunity across our, our recreation, across forests, uh, and rivers, and Lake, Lake Huron. So not just employment opportunities, those are, those are separate points. Okay, I'm gonna give like a 30 second timer, I think, on, on this, but, but if, if, if the comments are coming in, I, I'm, I don't wanna <coughs> cut it short. Um, again, natural beauty, so I think there's, there's diversity, so I'm really glad to see that. And economic opportunities, how do we, how do we provide economic opportunities for our, our young people to actually want to stay here? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and see this as a place to, to, to uh, have a family uh, and, and li live here over a long time, to not have to go to the big, bag, big, big, big bad Toronto all the time. Um, protect the lake shore. I remember when the, with the rising lake, shore, uh, le lake levels a few years ago, we were yeah. at Sable Beach quite concerned on that. The water was lapping up against our bluff and was, was eroding our bluff, and now we have the opposite problem again. It's, it seems <laughs> to be a long, a long way down. I think one of the things that we're seeing here too, Chris, is um, like how inexplicably linked 
Bruce County is with natural heritage, right, and, and cultural mm -hmm. heritage. So um, the connection there seems to continue to come through. Um, yeah. you know, protecting and, and appreciating our natural beauty is it seems to be a very consistent theme that's coming through here. And I'm really glad to see this, the house prices and cost, cost of living. That, that is a, uh, and I can say, um, um, because I was there and facilitating the session, <laughs> you know, with, with the senior management team uh, is, is, is very conscious of that. Uh, and, and how can Bruce County administration you know, be part of the solution in helping to make that? Some things aren't in your control, mm -hmm. um, but some, some things are. And, and as the, the, the connector of all of the municipalities that make up Bruce County, you've got a unique role to facilitate those kind of conversations. Okay, I think we'll call another 30 seconds and then we'll, 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 we'll cut this off. Uh, again, affordable housing, slower pace of life, um, space for our kids. Uh, we need parking. That's a good point. Uh, and I know up at Sauble Beach, that is absolutely a, a <laughs> an issue of some significance, uh, both north of Main Street as well as south of Main Street, where in, in, on the reserve, they're not actually providing parking along the streets right now mm -hmm. because the entire South Beach you know, <coughs> continues to be officially closed. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that the, 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 the um, um, Saugeen administration is looking at different alternatives around that, around parking just away from the beach, but still close. All right, I'm going to m move on. I really appreciate everybody's jumping in on this. We have had 18 answers, and, and I think that's fantastic. So we're going to, oops, we're going to move, move away on this one. And okay, so now we're just going to check in on, on, on questions. So somebody used the question to answer the, <laughs> where, where do you live? And that's fine. I'm going to just mark that as, as answered. So um, the, the, the first question is, you know, ha have we not emphasized protecting nature services, heading off climate emergency and meeting Canada's international goal of protecting 30% of our land? Um, I, I would, I'll answer a little bit and then I'll throw to you, Matt, uh, to, to, to address this point. I mean, I think this is all about, and this is what the strategic planning process is all about, is, is what are the priorities and the values that we will use to guide decision making in the future, in the, in the, the short term, meaning the next four years and, and, and beyond. And, um, and, and I think as we're hearing uh, from, from, from folks already today, we need to find that balance. But this person's laying down the imperative. That we, we, we can't get past this. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, th th this. We are in a climate emergency and we've made commitments. What, what's Bruce County's role in that? And what's, what's your, your perspective? Yeah, I think one thing uh, the county, I think, is particularly proud of is our, is our county forest. As, as we all know, you know um, coming from a forestry background, um, one of the things we used to always say is, is trees are the answer, right? So um, the county is very proud to own a number of forest plots or around the county. Um, you know, tens, um, I think it's 12,000 hectares of forests across the county. Um, they're they're um, uh, kind of a mixed use, so there's mm. recreational trails, there's also harvesting happening there. Um, they are sequestered in carbon. Uh, the county is um, in a partnership with Blue Source, which is um, mm -hmm. a carbon sequester uh, mm -hmm. company. It's um, um, part of the work that that our, uh, our our forester does is is look at those kinds of options. So I think that's one way. Um, we also have a, a transportation environmental services office, um, or department rather, and uh, they do quite a bit of work as well. And corporately, uh, I think there's always more that we can do and, and are doing. Um, certainly climate change is, as you said, Chris, it's one of those things that you can't get away from and, and needs to be addressed. And, and so sure. the county, uh, uh, has and, and will continue to kind of take a leadership role in, in moving these, those initiatives forward. Okay. Uh, this is also, I'll just point out for the purposes of, of, of those who are, are, are attending, great example of submitting a question which we'll, we, you know, we come back to. So if the person who submitted that question wants to further <coughs> challenge us and wants to ask uh, uh, more questions, you are not limited in, in, in any way about asking more questions. So we'll have a second opportunity closer to the end of the session to to get at the questions. So if you want to ask more questions that aren't being addressed, then you know, please please do so. So I'm gonna mark that as answered. And there's, I'm gonna also mark that as answered. So now we're gonna move on to, to the next part of our uh, presentation. So we've talked about what we heard from uh, uh, the, the, the public. Uh, and and, and uh, now, now we're, we're going to move to, what did we hear when we ran listening sessions and interviews with 
internal and external stakeholders. And just to remind you, uh, this is all the, C the chief administrative officers of, of the uh, various municipalities that make up Bruce County. Uh, also some of the councillors, many of the councillors, both before the election and after. Um, also also uh, uh, many uh, groups uh, such as the Métis, uh, uh, such as, um, uh, I guess, the, the health uh, group uh, and department and so forth. Greater Bruce Public Health, yeah. Yeah, and, and so you know, those are just, just, just some examples. And so we've, we've, we've summarized, uh, uh, we've created two areas of summary to, to play back to you today. Uh, the first is, is areas to build on. So these, these would be you know, what we might call strengths that we want to continue moving forward with. And so we want to we build on those. Um, and, and so uh, the first one, and again, this, this is another tip of the iceberg, but if you distilled it down from all the interviews, um, that, that, that's, that's, you know, there's, there's dedicated staff providing valuable services um, and a sense of community was certainly mentioned when it comes to Bruce County's strengths. Uh, communication also mentioned as an area to build on. So <laughs> that's a, we're doing well, need to do better. Um, you know, it's considered a strong aspect of the county. Uh, and some other aspects uh, by the uh, respondents was about inclusivity and flexibility of the organization, especially as it relates to trying new things and, and solving problems. A culture of building and strengthening relationships between the county, and that's certainly something I've learned uh, from, from being part of this project, helping out Bruce County think about your strategic plan, is, is, is just how many different groups you need to, to work with and within. Uh, that you've got the municipalities that make up the county, you've got the council, you've got various community groups, you've got businesses, you've got staff, you've got First Nations, you've got the, fed you've got the provincial government, you've got the federal government, you've got, plus your neighbors, because it's, you know, like Gray County being a great example, because you do such great collaboration with them. Um, so relation uh, relationships is a big part of your, your day to day yeah. work. Uh, lastly, a strong presence that is innovative and willing to try new, new, new ideas to better serve the community. So then, if those were the strengths that we want to continue to build on, uh, here are some areas to, to, to focus on, meaning these are areas we'd like to be better at. Uh, we need to get better at communicating, uh, both internally and, and with the public. Uh, definitely the most frequently mentioned item uh, that, that, that came, came from our interview. So that's interesting. That also came out of the, the resident survey and echoed by talking with people sort of more inside the tent within Bruce County. Um, that, that uh, departmental silos uh, would need to be addressed. Uh, employee wellness, uh, recruit and retain staff. I'm just I'm thinking this is also some of the uh, staff survey. Maybe, maybe I got these slides mixed up. Oops. Um, cultural diversity. So let's, 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 uh, oh, that, yeah, I think we had the slides <laughs> reversed. Oh, my goodness. So I got the surveys reversed. Oh, my. I thought, thought we had these right. Well, we'll just carry on. Um, surveys with, 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 with uh, this is a survey that we did with staff. Uh, the first was, was, was around, around um, the consultations. So we've got six things we want to tell you about the, the staff survey. Um, staff uh, uh, played back that they thought accountability, internal communications, and delivering great services were ranked highest uh, uh, in terms of continued resonance with the new strategic plan. This is also compared to the old strategic plan, which started in 2013. 47%, um, not quite 50% of people are familiar with the existing plan, and not quite a third believe it's been well communicated, though just more than a third indicated they don't reference it. And I think that's a, that's a point that I know senior management here wants to address. And you know, something less than 40% believe that the strategic plan is currently is easy to follow, and it hasn't been that, that well communicated. We had 174 total responses to the staff survey and 84 sort of fully completed uh, surveys. Um, our last three points on the survey highlights, then we're going to be able to hear from you again. Um, you know, Four-fifths indicated that you know, finding creative new ways to involve staff in our future uh, uh, as a goal uh, in the existing plan is very, very relevant to today's context. That three-quarters of employees actually live in Bruce, uh, which is great, uh, which, uh, and those who, who, who live uh, just outside of Bruce, I know, uh, c commute in. Um, you know, gives, gives the staff a, a, a dual perspective as both public servants as well as members of the community. And then a little more than a quarter of respondents, uh, this is sort of the demographics, you know, work in human services, and that is your biggest department with staff, mm. uh, followed by planning and development, which I know planning and development is probably the, 
the place that much of the public inter interface with Bruce County for good or for, for you know, could be better. Uh, and and uh, two-fifths having worked with the county for less than three years. So that, that, that says something right there that, that, that you know, 40% of your staff is new. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that, that's something you see in, in your work as well? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think, um, you know, we're, we're fortunate that, uh, you know, fresh faces bring new, fresh ideas and perspectives. And um, we're lucky to have the staff that we do. They're, they're hardworking, dedicated. Uh, skilled and um, you know, as I said, these these new folks bring a lot of energy and, and passion and, and new ideas to uh, to the ways of doing things that uh, that are and, and have and will change. Okay, great. So now it's back to you, and you see that I already flipped the slide uh, to to allow you some some time to think about, uh, given what you've seen about what we heard from 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 residents, what we heard from internal and external stakeholders, and what we heard from the staff. Um, uh, sort of highlights, obviously, because we can't get into too much detail in a, in a forum such as this. What other questions or comments might you have uh, bu building off of that? Um, so, uh, oh, there's a, there's a question that's, that's coming in here, and we will, we will look at the questions um, sh shortly. You could either a a <coughs> the, you know, put in input using, using questions or uh, just, just answering the questions. Uh, in, uh, where short answers are recommended and you have 250 characters <coughs> to, to submit a question. So I think we're probably seeing the same phenomenon we saw in the previous time where mm -hmm. people are composing their answers. They need time, which is, which is fair. So we will wait patiently uh, to, to see what uh, uh, people have to say. I think we're about halfway through the program. Um, and I think we're actually in pretty good shape. I think we're about where I'd hoped we would be. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in the heart of the feedback. Again, we should have the deputy move it. <laughs> at least because of that. <laughs> so we'll, we'll definitely wait uh, another, another minute or so to see, to see uh, if, if people have uh, other questions. We will see that question that was posed um, uh, late, late, later on. So here we go. Here's the first one. So uh, this person is suggesting that we need to understand that each community that makes up Bruce, uh, you know, there are differences that need to be understood, and, and how, how, do, how, do you, how do you tailor uh, support for, for e each of them and their own priorities and taking into account their uniqueness? How does Bruce County do that now? Yeah, good question. Um, I think, uh, as the question alluded to, it's, it's, a, it's a cultural mosaic, it's, a, it's an organizational mosaic, it's people are different. Um, ideas are different and we want to kind of celebrate and recognize those and uh, at the same time in your earlier slide you mentioned about partnerships and so I think you know diverse teams make uh, diversity makes strong teams and mm -hmm. so um, recognizing our differences celebrating our differences but also working together I think is key okay fantastic um, can the strategic plan be a more powerful <coughs> tool to achieve goals such as enhancing affordable housing options, protecting agricultural land and natural resources such as the, sh the shoreline. And I'm just going to move on to the, s the, the next point about how do you prioritize inputs of all stakeholders? Th th this is exactly the balance. This is the, so the senior management team, ultimately to with the chief administrative officer, you know, have to make uh, choices about what they're going to choose to focus on over the next four years. Um, how do you prioritize inputs of stakeholders? Well. Um, that's a matter of, of weighing uh, uh, the priorities, and those priorities change from year to year. I think that what we're proposing, and you'll see shortly, uh, is, a, is a group of, of six goals are proposed across three sort of categories um, that, that uh, aren't on the surface of it. They are not uh, a third, a third, a third when it comes to priorities. Mm -hmm. um, and also, as, as, as we progress through the strategic plan, as we start to continue to implement it, year one, year two, the year or year five, um, the priorities need to shift because once you start addressing, if affordable housing is one of your number ones, those are those take a long time to to to, to put in place. Mm -hmm. Those are about creating relationships with developers who want to build things, you know, and also the, then you have to do syn synchronization of of, uh, uh, of codes and so forth, um, and, and allowing that to happen. And maybe there's incentives, you know, who knows. Um, those take a while to do, which means you need to get started on those sooner rather than later. You can't leave them to the end of the plan. But it's something I've said to my, my clients uh, around strategic planning is, imagine if you'd just done a strategic plan in 2019, and I have some clients who did this. 
Right? You've just you've just done a you've done a great public consultation. You've 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 created a great plan. Everybody buys into it, and then the pandemic happens. Can you imagine how different that plan would look if you'd done mm -hmm. it? In the, in the summer of 2020 as opposed to the summer or the, the, of, of 2019. So we can't foresee everything, but so our plan needs to not only take into account and prioritize what, what are we gonna work on first, what are we gonna work on second, what's the frame we're working within, but it also has to be flexible and adaptable to the, to the current situation, you know, such as, oh yeah, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we've had, we've had three points and, and, I, and I think we're probably ready. I'll, I'll give 30 seconds more. Uh, if there's any, any, any more points uh, to be added. Yeah, yeah I, I think too on the prioritized inputs, I think that's, you know, that's why it's so important that uh, we are and, and have and will continue to kind of reach out uh, to a variety of stakeholders, the, the public, our staff, our local municipalities, First Nations, the Métis, um, other stakeholder groups like Grave Roof Public Health, um, and we want to hear from from everyone, uh, and we want to help. Uh, we we need and want your help in setting those priorities. And at the end of the day, um, as a municipal government, uh, the decision makers are Bruce County Council, and so they make the decisions. But um, we we need and, and are seeking your input to help us uh, prioritize mm -hmm. those those inputs. So yeah, good question. Thank you. We'll be providing a link, which I think most of you already know, because that's <coughs> how you found out about this session, but we'll, we'll remind you of the link to provide more input uh, at, at the end of, of, of this session. Last comment that did come in, and I have, I have some affinity with this comment. <laughs> As a long-term summer resident and cottage owner, I and other cottages feel we're not giving, given opportunities for input, yet we pay the same taxes as, as year-long residents. That, 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 that's a very fair, fair point, and, and I, I think it's, it's potentially a, a a call for action to make sure that, 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 that you know, when you think about who are the stakeholders uh, within Bruce County, it's, it's residents, those who live here full time, as well as those who live here uh, part time. Yeah, and yeah, so I think, um, you know, certainly from the, from the beginning, the intent is uh, residents, visitors and businesses, whatever category you happen to fall in, in, in that uh, is certainly the, the folks that we want to hear from. So uh, thank you for joining today and thanks for your comments. Okay, now we're going to get into some of the content that came out of the uh, uh, session, uh, the, the senior management uh, workshop, the all-day workshop. Um, let's talk about vision. So Bruce, Bruce County has a vision. This was constructed back in 2013, um, and we're, we're looking for your comments about, about this vision. How relevant is, it, relevant is it now? What do you want to keep? What do you want to change? Uh, and so the vision, and I'll read it, read it for, for those uh, uh, just so you can hear it as well as, as read it. Uh, our vision is that uh, a bold Bruce County, a healthy, caring community of prosperity. There's a lot of <coughs> pretty important words in, 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 in that. And so I'm going to switch to the next, the next slide. So here, here's your opportunity to provide some feedback about, about that. Um, at, at the senior management uh, workshop, uh, Matt, uh, there was a, a challenge, no, actually it was on a follow-up workshop, um, uh, where it was, uh, a challenge was thrown down to say, what's wrong with this vision? Why wouldn't, couldn't we carry along with this vision? Um, and, and that was a pretty robust conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I think there were some, a, a couple of, of, of points that perhaps uh, I'd like this group to think about and provide feedback on. You know, is prosperity the right word? Maybe, maybe there's, there's something more about uh, inclusion maybe needs to be there. Um, certainly bold and beautiful. Uh, what, what does bold mean when it comes? It would be interesting to know what, what, what do people interpret that to mean. Uh, a healthy, caring community is very, very consistent with what we heard from the resident survey. Um, and innovation, I think we, we, we've also, we certainly heard that from in, in internal stakeholders. So I, I suspect we're also having the same situation. We have to wait for some input. I think. I think this audience here that's listening to this broadcast are um, definitely have some ideas about, about what, what should be changed or what should be retained with respect to this vision. Um, our work uh, with, with the senior management team will be to take your input from here as well as from a, a public session that's happening at the uh, Bruce County Museum to next, this afternoon at 5 p.m. So if you just don't have enough of me and Matt, <laughs> you just need to have more Please come to the Bruce County Museum at 5 p.m. and, and we'll, get, we'll, we'll dig it into, into some more. We'll be following a very similar format as, as, as this, um, but, but uh, if you want to provide more input, come down, love, love to see you. 
Um, sustainability is, would be very important to include, so thank you for that. Let's keep the beautiful, the caring, the prosperity, and the innovation, and let's add on to it, opening, welcoming, maybe supportive. Those are, those are great words and sets a, sets a tone, because what, what a vision is about is, is, is setting a, a sight line or, 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 or a, 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 where are you trying to go? Right? It's about where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do. Uh, and it, 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 but it also takes into account what you already are, um, but it does recognize <coughs> that there are some differences. And so that's, that's important to try to, to pull into this. Um, refresh, so new vision for new times. So there's, there's, there's a, uh, a challenge being thrown to, mm -hmm. you know, let's, let's, let, let, let's make this different. Keep Bruce County beautiful, healthy, caring, prosperous. Uh, should be a priority. So you know, it's it's about uh, um, you know, ra raising raising the water level for all, the tide for all. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll give this another thirty seconds before we move on. I mean, vision sets the tone and the and the direction. Uh, what we're not covering today is 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 is, is mission, uh, which everybody is everybody's website. Every company has a vision and mission. The mission for Bruce County is pretty clear. It's about being a great municipality. Uh, fulfilling all of the obligations that you have to fulfill, you know, legislative and regulatory with the province and, and, and everybody else, uh, as well as with your, your constituent municipalities. It's about doing the right thing, providing great services to, to residences, to businesses, to community groups, to working with First Nations, uh, you know, doing everything you do, provide great services. Uh, you know, that, that, that's, that's, that's what you do. So you know, we're, we're, we're not spending time on that today. But what <coughs> we're really spending time on next is how do we make this happen? So if this is the vision, and this vision extends beyond our four-year sort of timeline uh, and horizon, how do we make that happen? So I'm going to switch to that in, in 10 seconds. We'll just make you know, one last gasp for, for uh, information here, if there's other, other, other input. All righty, I think the clock's run out on this one. We will we'll mo move on. So now we're going to get to the priorities. And so the pri priorities are coming out of the, and here's a picture, and there's Matt there sitting by the flip chart uh, of, of the, uh, the workshop. We covered the wall in sticky notes, and I'm hoping we're going to do much the same thing this afternoon at 5 p.m. Uh, to do a, a similar thing, because we're, we're also going to use the technology, but we're also going to just use some old-fashioned writing on, 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 on Post-it notes. Um, and and we, we covered a bunch, of, a bunch of different things. We moved... First, we talked about the future, uh, 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 and, and it was about what does Bruce County look like in 2035, as, as well as what are the trends that, are, that, that we're seeing across a number of different categories, uh, like environmental trends or political trends or, or, or uh, you know, trends in governance, and, and, and what are the issues that we're facing? Um, we then spent time you know, moving to... Uh, the priorities, and we did that by using a, a technique called positioning statements, which is just a statement around what is it that we want to be uh, in, 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 in the future, and then how does that impact vision, and we also talked about values, which we're also not going to talk too much about today. But what our, our primary, our primary uh, conversation was about what are our priorities, and what are the first level of goals that we want to set for ourselves in order to fulfill those priorities. So I'm going to move on to the next slide, and I'll talk about them. Um, on, on the next slide, and so you can start thinking about this, is, is, is an opportunity to provide feedback on these proposed priority groups and, and these, these, these initial set of goals. I, I want to first say, uh, if I could put in italics, bold, flashing, highlighting, these are simply proposed. So this is what came out of, as a result of all the input that was provided with the information that we've shared so far, as well, and, and coming out of that, the senior management team workshop on January 27th, with some subsequent conversations since then. And we've, we've landed on, as proposed, again, these are not fixed in stone in any way, shape, or form, but they do form the basis of what they're thinking about. So we're, we're, we're revealing some thinking here before they are done. And I, ho I hope the people who are on the call here re you know, re re recognize that. So we have three groups. Um, it, it first is more external facing. It's, it's, it's about serving the community, uh, building a better community, as well as working with others to, to do so, and that's through partnership. So that's why we've grouped those. It's more external facing and, 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 and serving uh, group, uh, folks and working with folks, uh, other agencies. 
The second grouping is, is a little bit more internal facing. And it's about the organization that makes up Bruce County as well as, I suppose, the, the, you know, the partners we work with, like the, the, the municipalities. It's about having a, a, it's about culture, which is about creating a positive, productive, and accountable work culture. It doesn't mean that they don't have that now. What we've heard in spades from the survey is it's, it's a pretty good work culture um, with, with lots of flexibility and allows people <coughs> to grow. But it could be better, and, and I think that could be true of any organization. So that's the, the third goal within the second bucket. The, 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 the fourth goal is about strengthening. So Bruce County is doing some things very well, it, could, it needs to do some things better. And so you could imagine under, under each of those four goals, there will be some sub-goals, actually what we might call objectives. Now we're playing with words. But we can break these goals down in, 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 into, into parts. We're not doing that today. That to me is the role of senior management to take it away uh, and, and, and working with us to, to create the, the detail here. But I am hoping that people are starting to think about what would the detail look like? What's an example of let's say, building a better community. What do you think we should be focusing on? Uh, and for those who might be um, uh, dialing in from their desktop, they work for Bruce County, you know, or for, for your own organizations, how do you create a more positive, productive, and accountable work culture? Then the last grouping is about sort of foundation. Um, it's about capabilities. So uh, 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 it, it's about strengthening, this is kind of a consulting word, so apologies for that, you know, your, your core capabilities. The, the things that you're good at and things you need to get better at, that, that you need to continuously improve on those, like the, the quality service teams that you, you used to have and were very active before the pandemic. Since the, during the pandemic, there was a lot less focus on that. You just needed to deliver services, you know, doing whatever you could. But now I think that you know, the, 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 the wheels turn, it's time to perhaps return to that. I know that's one of the goal, sub-goals. And then lastly, it's about doing things just like we're doing today, is, is you know, get up to date on technology. Use technology to provide services. And it's not the only channel, but you need to be able to underpin everything you do needs to have a, a digital lens applied to it. So that's what these, these, these um, three groups and six goals are all about. And you'll notice, hopefully, they're very action-oriented words um, ra rather than you know, uh, uh, sort of mealy mouse that are, you know, well, We'll plan to do something. Well, no, we're actually, th these are, the word strengthen, I now, now realize, I haven't looked at it, shows up three times. We might want to come up with different words mm -hmm. than that. So I'm going to move to the next slide to give people a chance to actually give us your thoughts. So give us your thoughts about the goals and those groupings, those priorities that we just outlined. Uh, and and I, I, so give us your feedback on that. Um, and I think we're, we're pretty good on time. We've got 12 minutes left in this session. Um, so I think we've got, we're just about the right point here. But we also are asking you a, an, an additional question for those who are thinking forward. Um, how should we measure progress against these goals? How should we be reporting back to you on these goals? So again, we're gonna have the usual 20 second lag here and then people are gonna start answering the question. So ho hopefully we'll get some great responses over the next five minutes or so uh, to, to the answer. Now, you'll notice on your device, those six goals show up, and I'm going to show it here. Hopefully, it'll it'll show up. No, it should. Oh well, maybe that's. I thought it was supposed to show the six the six areas. Oh well, it is on my device. Mm -hmm. Oh well, so it's on people's devices, which is building a better community, strengthening strengthen and grow partnerships, create a positive, productive, and accountable work culture, strengthen our capacity to deliver, strengthen core capabilities, and increase technology leisure. Are we going to share the other responses to the question? Um, we are. I guess I'm, I'm not quite sure what, what that question is asking. All, all of the content uh, from, from today and from tonight's session, uh, we will package up and, and have a report back to the, to the community if that's what this question is asking. Do you think that's what it's asking? Yeah, I think so. I think to um you know, the intent is to share this recording on, on the, mm. the county's strategic planning website. So um, we'll share that link later. But yeah, the, the full recording um, will be available. Are these the right goals? What do you think they should be, the, the senior management at, at Bruce County administration should be, should be focusing on? So there's, here's a, a great challenge question right off the bat. So how do these goals tie back to priorities around natural resources, climate change? So housing, building a better community is, is, is I think, the place, the placeholder for 
many of these, these aspects. So the next level down under building a better community, number one with a bullet is about housing. Number two is, is about reconciliation and continuing the dialogue with, with, with uh, the indigenous communities of, of, of Bruce County. Uh, and number three is out, uh, whether it's number three, but it's absolutely in the top five is about environmental protection and, 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 and protecting our, our natural resources. Um, and it'll be hard, and, and, and I really appreciate the challenge that's provided here by this respondent. Yeah, it's hard to measure against these goals if they're not very specific. So where the specificity comes from is at the next level. So these become the container for the actual more specific objectives that, that Bruce County will be, will be providing. And those objectives will be um, uh, presented to council uh, uh, later, later, I guess earlier in May or so, uh, and they will be uh, um, talked about with, with the senior management team uh, over the next few weeks. So you will get a chance to review those and provide feedback on those before, again, they're, they're locked in stone. Mm -hmm. um, so a very high level. So fa fair enough. And, and we, we take that, uh, uh, that uh, th those suggestions so will the sub goals be presented? Uh, so I just, I just sort, of, sort of answered that. In this particular session, the answer is no. Uh, but you know what, we'll take it away and think that maybe there's a, 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 a pre-publication we should go through and get people's sort of responses. Maybe we could do a quick survey where we present that information and get people's feedback. <coughs> that, that's, that's not a high, um, it doesn't take a lot, of, a lot of effort to do that, Matt. So we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll take that under advice, so thank you. Building a better community seems to be hopelessly broad. Fair, fair enough. Well, I guess we've, we've already sort of answered a little bit of it. Um, and here, here's, a, here's a plea for, for um, you know, protect the environment, protect public access to the, the shoreline, the parks, the public space, the green spaces. And don't forget to focus on community safety. That's, that's very, very fair. And, and, and thank you for that contribution. Are there any more? I think we've got, we'll do two more minutes on this. Uh, we don't really have much more to do. What we're going to do after this is, is look back at the qu any more questions that might be there, and I think there are a couple. Um, also, uh, we are, you're going to get a chance to provide some feedback on the process. Uh, I think we'll probably go past 1 o'clock to allow people to, to do that. We'll end the broadcast, but, but people will be continuing to be able to we'll leave the providing your feedback up for a while longer. We won't actually have to cut off the broadcast. Unless the producer gives me the negative sign and says, no, you can't do that, <laughs> hopefully that's not true. So you know, make, make, make sure you deliver core services. So yeah, <laughs> so th thank you for that. That's about, you know, focus on what you're, you're, what you're, what you're meant to do mm -hmm. you know, and do it well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that's a, a, a very fair point by that, that, that respondent. We'll, we'll give it anoth another minute. And uh, if there's any, any, more, uh, any more suggestions. I, th I think too, Chris, I think the, uh, the call to action there about um, how do these goals, and there's, there's kind of a theme there about yeah. um, how do we be more specific and measurable, and, and certainly that is the intent, right, coming, coming out of this. We're, we're at a high level right now. We're, we're asking for your thoughts, and, and that call to action really is saying that you need to link your, your, your tasks, your objectives to your higher level goals, and certainly that is the intent, and, and appreciate the feedback there. What we're not hearing, Matt, here, and I know this is a limited group, not a huge, huge audience, but what we're not hearing is disagreement. Maybe it's hard to disagree with these things that are at this high level, but we're not hearing fundamental disagreement from these as yeah. sort of priority groupings. Yeah. Hopefully I haven't just said something that isn't true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, 30 seconds and then we'll move on. Um, yeah, they're too broad, so fair enough. We definitely, did. but again, they're the containers that we then start to work within. So we're working from you know, what does Bruce County want to be? <coughs> How do we get there? You know, the, what are our goals and objectives that, that, that are high level that, that to facilitate that vision? And then we keep you know, going, you know, nutting it down, nutting it down. So, all right, 10 seconds, and then I'm going to move on. All right, so perfect. Thank you for, for, for that uh, input. So now we're back to questions. So how is the county, oh, Matt, this is a question for you. Hmm. How is the county linking the strategic plan with the, with the update to the official plan, both of which are happening concurrently? The official plan work started first, if I'm correct. Yep. Uh, and then the strategic plan has followed a bit. What's your answer? 
Yeah, certainly the two uh, need to be and, and will be aligned. I think um, you know some of the learnings that have come through the official plan have helped inform not only staff or senior management team, but also the public through those engagements. Um, the official plan is, is big and lofty, and, and so is the strategic plan. So there's a natural alignment there, I think, that, that works well. Um, you know, the, the feedback that's been received continues to, to, to help inform the strategic plan. And I think both are, are based on kind of a continual improvement uh, model where we're learning all the time and we're adjusting and we're, we're trying to be flexible and nimble and, and trying to respond. And so I think that's how uh, the two of those work in, in unison. And if this didn't answer your question, you still have an opportunity. Oh, no, there is actually the question marks disappeared, I see. But anyways, you'll have an opportunity perhaps in the comments that follow to if you wanted to ask uh, another, another question. So we're going to mark that as answered. Is there a strategy in place to increase youth engagement in the process? Um, and youth mean in terms of the strategic planning process. We did, do, we did interview with a number, a number of groups uh, uh, across the, the county, but Matt, do you have a a particular response to that? Yeah, I think um, as part of our stakeholder groups, we're, we're asking them to connect with a variety of folks, including the school board, and asking board, them right. um, how how best to engage and how to um, connect with, with that feedback. And so, again, we're, we're continually trying to uh, reach out and, and, and make those connections. And um, today's a great example of that, I think. So there's a, a, a digital offering uh, of feedback that folks can, can participate in, in this session. There's also an in-person one here at the museum this evening, um, and trying to kind of deliver a diverse offering, uh, the online survey, uh, phone interviews, and so on and so forth. So we are, are, are trying to take a diverse approach to, to soliciting feedback and, and connecting with our partners, kind of one of the key themes that has come out of this. And so asking our partners and, and, and um, that diverse group that's, that's helping uh, guide this effort uh, to hopefully connect with with that youth uh, with that youth engagement piece. So yeah, certainly. And if if there are suggestions or opportunities, then certainly we're interested. So so thank you for the comments. Okay. Why are increasing nature services and increasing biodiversity not included as major goals? Well, I think uh, that's that's a fair challenge, um, and and uh, uh, we will we will take that back. Um, that in as constructed. The top level six goals do not specifically call out um, some of the things that we've heard. So mm -hmm. that that is exactly the point of doing these kind of consultations is to is to have people uh, look at it for the first time and, and react to it and say, hmm, this looks like it's missing. And I think that's a fair point. So thank you. So can we make it a priority goal to include the value of nature services in all budgets and impacts in all directions? So I think that's a very similar question to the one we just had, and we're going to take, take that away. Um, so they're far too general. So and back again to increasing nature services and the me meeting the diversity goals um, uh, and making sure they're measurable. Fair, fair enough. Oh, and we're back to, so we've gone through all of the questions. So uh, we'll then move to uh, the next slide, uh, and then we'll move to the place where you can actually provide some feedback on the process and anything else you didn't think was covered. So what's coming up next? Well, we as consultants will be working with the senior management team led by the, the chief administrative officer. Uh, we'll use this input as we finalize the, the, the strategic plan, uh, and then it will go to council in, in, in May because we're coming close. So one last thing, and we're right at the top of the hour. So we'll leave this open for a, a, a few seconds uh, in, in, the broad, in the broadcast. And we'll leave, the, we'll leave the mentee open. The broadcast will end at, 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 at the top of the hour. Please let us know what worked for you and, and what can be improved for this session. And I'll add on, if there's anything else that you think that we should have covered uh, or should have included in the strategic plan, you know, do so here. So uh, I guess we're at the end. And look at that. The agenda is like pretty, pretty much bang on. <laughs> um, Matt, it's been a pleasure working with you today uh, on, on this session. Uh, hopefully for the people who did attend, they found it valuable. Uh, that, that using this, this kind of forum is a different way of, 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 of getting input from, from, from the public and, get, and soliciting your feedback directly, and unfiltered, except filtered through our, you know, the agenda that we put in here. I very much take away, my takeaway from, from this session today is more about eco, please, as well as provide another opportunity um, uh, for uh, 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 
providing feedback on, on more specific goals, which fair, very fair. Um, virtual session. We talked about making the evening session virtual, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's too late for that, but we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Thank, thank you for that. Yeah, out of work hours, but we did it during lunch hours, so hopefully we people will be able to do it then. Um, thank you for your comment about the session working well. Format, good combination of information and interaction. Okay, so Mr. Producer, I think we're done. <coughs> we're, at, we're at the top of the hour. My thanks to, to Matt, my co-host here, to Tara Hay, working behind the scenes on the questions and making sure they were good questions to ask. And thanks to our producer, Jeremy, here. Uh, thank you all for participating. And hopefully you'll come to the evening uh, session that starts at 5 p.m. at the Bruce County Museum.